Students marched and rallied on the Marquette campus calling for the U.S. Senate to protect the right to an abortion. Action needs to be taken by the Senate to codify Roe v. Wade into law. This creates a, a very important um, uh, opportunity to uh, pass my Women's Health Protection Act. Wisconsin's two U.S. Senators are deeply divided on the issue. Democrat Tammy Baldwin has co-sponsored a bill to ensure the right to an abortion. It's set for a vote Wednesday, but Baldwin acknowledged to Upfront's Matt Smith it's not likely to happen. Is there any scenario where this would pass? Well, certainly if there was an agreement to eliminate the filibuster, uh, there could be. That vote's going to happen on Wednesday, it, it appears. What are your thoughts well, about that? First of all, it'll fail. There's no chance of passing something on a national basis. I don't think that'd be the right thing to do anyway. Republican Ron Johnson says abortion rights or restrictions shouldn't be up to Congress. It ought to be done on a state-by-state -state basis. If the Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade, as is expected, nearly all abortions in Wisconsin would become illegal under a law on the books since 1849 a law Johnson believes is likely to change. I don't think that will stand for long. I think the democratic process in Wisconsin will have something other than the 1849 law. But no matter how Wisconsin's law eventually looks, Baldwin vows to keep fighting. This isn't the last action we'll take for sure. In Milwaukee, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News.